nice little market. And not much one for jewelry though. Well, unless I'm the one selling or making it. Let's see what else is around here. Ah, of course, now the sun's coming out. Doesn't that figure? I run the entire way here while it's raining and then this happens. Oh, Ooh, that was dumb. You would think I'd learn. But no. Don't look directly into the sun. Yes. Alright. I'm going to take a guess that the keep is going to be this big thing in front of me. What would one call this? It doesn't quite look like a palace. Or a castle. Out of my way, outsider. Ooh. Well, if that's the way it's going to be. Fine. Need something? No. Nope. Well, yes. But... I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Can't believe I'm posted here. See? That's what I mean about the long sidelines in the reach. What are you hiding, priest? Oh, what's this? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of oh, my ancestors. Oh, wow. He's Talos. really, uh... That's enough, oh, great. Gone. We're done. The elves are here. Lovely. That was what I was saying about the long sidelines in the reach. I imagine somebody in that armor would not have too much trouble taking an arrow in the knee. Not from a skilled archer, anyway. What is all that? Well... I don't think I could feel more out of place here if I tried. The Silver Blood family are to be left alone. Here to see the Jarl. You, who are you to approach the Jarl of Markarth? I am, uh. I'm looking to turn in a bounty, actually. Forsworn. Very well. You may approach the Mournful Throne. But watch your words. Keep your eyes open for Forsworn when you're on the road. Yeah. I'm aware of that. Rayrek. How is the Reach faring against this Force One menace? Better now. You awake? I'm Igman's uncle as well as his steward. Ah, uh, right. The leader of Serpent's Bluff is dead. I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Thank you. I'll be out of your way. I have letters to read. Of course. Where are those? Ah. Speaking of not looking more out of place here if they tried. What are they doing here? If I were more paranoid I would assume that they are looking for me, but... My last known place was White Run, not here. They had no reason to assume I'd be here. At any rate, I'm just going to move along. I don't want anybody asking questions. Ah, it is a nice day out. By sure, you're holding around a lot of junk. Let's stop in at the army that starts trading. Sell it off. They're obviously not used to camping, huh? Complain about stone beds, but it's probably a bit more cushy than 
trying to rough it. They wouldn't last five seconds in Soul Slime. Or maybe they would. Probably should not judge them so harshly. Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Shouted him apart. Hmm. I find that hard to believe. It's down the stairs, dear. Just come right in. All right. I'm going to assume that that's an expression for diplomacy or something. Ah. The Hag's Cure is here for all your discreet needs. Right. That is um, a unique name. Hm. Comes with living to a ripe old age. People start thinking there's something magical about you. Then, the insults. Huh. Still, a little knowledge of plants and potions can get you by. Not that anyone likes to admit buying things from you. See? I even have a little potion for the steward. Mind handing it over to him? Just say it should solve that problem he has. I might as well. I actually just saw him. So... Sure. Thank you. A favor from an old hag to an old hag, yeah? What do you know about the Forsworn, by the way? Just curious. Only that they break an old woman's heart. So many friends, so many kin, all lost trying to rebuild a past that was over long ago. I see. All right, what else have you got for sale? Ah, so you're an alchemist then? No, uh, I just pick things up on my travels. Uh, half the time I don't know what to do with them and, um, You know, I come from Soul Slime. Alchemy is not exactly something that is frowned upon. A good herbal remedy is always something useful to have around. I'm sure you know that better than anybody. You have some interesting, some interesting potions here. Now, you let me know if you need a cure, or anything else. Of course. Playing up the name, I suppose. I can appreciate that. My father had the name Ulfregni Red-Sided. He painted his face red. <laughs> Tended to scare the people who were younger, the children, the uh, teenagers. Outsiders up. Didn't scare me though. It was my father. Of course, it didn't scare me. Didn't even scare a lot, dear. You know, it probably should have, and I'd probably have been better off for it. The Silverblood family will be hurt. Oh, good for them. Else. Sorry to interrupt. I'm Igman's uncle as well as his steward. I remember. I have a delivery from the Hag's Cure. Oh, yes. Um, uh, thank you. Here you go. Some gold for your assistance and your discretion. <laughs> I have letters to read. I'm sure you do. I will ask about what kind of letters. Hello. On Dolomar is the commander of the Thalmor in Markarth. Good for him. Now get out of my face. I'm not scared of them. I know just how easily this halberd can chop through that armor. They don't know that though. All right, what's your deal? You there, you another Imperial puppet? Answer me. I am no friend of the Imperials, as you might be able to tell. 
She took a look at me. Finally, someone with decent sense. The Empire is destroying everything Skyrim stands for. Honor, pride, mighty Talos. Jarl Igmund can't ignore us for much longer. Not if the Silverblood family has a say. And why exactly should the Jarl listen to you? Are you his advisor? We own Sidna Mine, best prison in Skyrim, and source of half the wealth in this city. We keep the Reach safe. We flood Markarth with wealth. But does the Jarl listen to us when we want to say? No. He's busy forgetting that Ulfric Stormcloak saved this city from the Forsworn. Ulfric's a hero. Not a damn criminal. If you say so. Stay out of trouble in my city. Right. Ooh, I want to teach him a lesson. My son died in that war. Just because you can throw money around doesn't mean you are anything. Doesn't mean anybody should have to listen to you. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Oh, they must have switched posts. Hi. Believe I'm posted here. Even the beds are made of stone. <laughs> I find that hard to believe, or I would, if the entire city wasn't made of stone as well. I should talk to that jeweler, maybe. I might as well. <sighs> what happened here? Oh, that poor girl. We'll handle things from here. Move along. What happened? All oh. right then. What happened? Yeah, that's my question too. That poor girl. Okay. Yes. Well. Did you hear all that noise outside? It's just the market rabble. We should get back to work. Oh, well, I came in here you wondering if... if you're here to trade. Step up to the counter. I came in here wondering if they heard anything useful, but apparently not. No, I'm not Arnleaf. Yes, I know it's called Arnleaf and Sons. Did you know there was an attack in the marketplace? No, as if trade wasn't poor enough. Now there's violence in the streets. It was the Forsworn, wasn't it? I lose dozens of shipments every season to those barbarians. Now they're in the city? Gods help us. Oh boy. I don't know as much any as I don't know. Take a look. I probably don't even know as much as you. I was halfway across the city at the time. But here. Uh some things you might be able to sell. Or th things that might earn you some wealth or something. I... I am carrying around a lot of... Junk. Actually, most of it is... Cooking or crafting ingredients, so... I don't know what I'm doing with any of these arrows. I don't need that, but I'm going to keep it anyway. Simply because it looks like it has a boar on the front, even though I know that's not what it is. I don't care. It reminds me of home. In a kind of sideways way. I'm going to sell this to you. Now that it came from Fralia Greymane in Whiterun. 
Come back whenever you need something. Of course. Mm -hmm. handles the customers. I just check the shipments. Right. I'm never going to use that sword anyway. May it bring someone fighting these Forsworn some luck. I want to know what happened. She had a dagger on her. <coughs> yes? She was a smart lass. Never go five steps without a weapon. Yes? That's what my father used to say. What happened to this guy? Margaret, he... he killed her. Right in front of me. Did you know her? Who was she? Who was he? She's a traveler from the Imperial City. Came by every day looking for jewelry for her relatives back home. Why would anyone want to kill her? Doesn't make any sense. And this man was the one who did it. What's happening to this city? Who's he? Nothing on his body. That guard doesn't look like he cares much. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Oh, what happened? Let's go check the inn. 